The electronic monitoring for offenders just got a lot better. We're getting to see new software that gives case managers immediate and very specific information on the whereabouts of offenders. They hope it will thwart crime and reduce recidivism rates. RTV6's Derek Thomas reports. Marion County began placing offenders on electronic monitoring in 1999. Now on any given day, 3,000 offenders are on GPS monitoring. The information the ankle bracelet can yield has evolved. Advanced technology can rapidly analyze massive amounts of location data on the computer screens of case managers assigned to keep tabs on offenders. This is so powerful. I put my cursor on that, that time there and it shows me everywhere he was just like that. Brian Barden runs the track group program. He says early returns indicate how effective this system can be. Five, five individuals out of the first ten we loaded had gone to a nondescript house in a bad part of town. And there was no reason why these five individuals would have gone to that home other than the fact that they were in the drug trade. And that's stuff we can then send to the law enforcement and say, hey, you might want to look at this. Electronic monitoring will become increasingly important to reduce jail population. 97% of that population is awaiting trial. But now, due to changes in state law, level 6 felons will now be serving sentences in county jails. You can see very quickly that there's going to be a potential for overcrowding. And so having additional sentencing options and having additional options available for pretrial release, it's only a... Um, it's only a good thing as far as tools available for the judges and, and the community in general. A grant to fund the program is in place for one year. If it is effective, it is expected to be extended. Derek Thomas, RTV6. Nationwide, more than 4.8 million offenders are under community supervision as an alternative to incarceration.